Hello, everyone. Last time we learned how to install the machine correctly. So today we will teach you how to install the tools. It including the electronic cutting tool, V grooving tool, and this milling tool. Please follow with me step by step. Let's start it. First, let's demonstrate how to correctly use the oscillating cutting tool. Step one: properly installing the blade. As you can see in the video, hold the middle of the tool with your palm, and use your thumb to gently push off the cap. Then use the short end of the M2 wrench to loosen the. Fixing screw. Insert the blade into the tool. Two things to remember here: make sure to insert the blade all the way in. The blade edge should face the side with the fixing screw, ensuring the tip is at the tool's center. Next, use the long side of the M2 wrench to turn the fixing screw clockwise. Then tighten it gently with the short side. Now let's mount the tool in the correct blade holder according to the SP number. Two things to note here: tip the square blend the W axis to set its value to zero. When installing, the blade edge should point towards the X plus direction. Turn the bolt counterclockwise to raise it. Align the slot with the support rod and insert the tool into the holder. Tighten the bolt clockwise to secure the tool. Then connect the tool's plug. Align the slot and insert the plug into the socket. Tighten the bolt clockwise to secure it. On the operation panel, click Adjust, then Cut. If the tool oscillates, it means it's successfully installed. Next, let's set the tool's cutting depth. Place an A4 sheet of the paper under the tool. Click Adjust, then Cut to start oscillating. Press the SP number button, switch operation number, and select the specific code for the cutting tool, SP4. Adjust the descent amplitude. Press the descent button, watching the tool's position. As the tool nearly touches the surface, reduce the descent amplitude and continue pressing the down button. Pull the paper gently. If it's just a cut, hit the check mark to save settings. Click cut. Cancel oscillating. Now let's attach the blade cap. First, rotate the tool 180 degrees. Align the cap's screw with the notch on the tool. Then holding the cap. Gently push it upwards. Next, we'll test the tool with actual cutting material. Place the material on the work table. Click the up, down, left, right buttons on the work interface to move the cutting head above the material. Then click speed and set the cut processing speed. From left to right, the are linear speed, acceleration, curve speed, and small circle speed. Once the speed is set, click Adjust, and press the clockwise button to cut a square. After cutting, let's check the outcome. First, check if there is overcutting at the start and end points. 
Here is the start point. We have overcut by one millimeter, and、uh, here is the end. Undercut by zero point five millimeter. How to adjust? Click configure, and in the cut option, enter minus one in the down extend box, and plus zero point five in the up extend. If the material isn't fully cut through, increase the cutting depth by pressing plus, like adding 0.5 millimeter. After adjustment, test again. Now you see we have achieved a perfect cut. Okay, that's all about the installing and using of the oscillating tools. You got it. Besides these two, sometimes customers need various types for different processing needs, like the grooving tool and the milling tool. So, how to use them correctly? Let's follow our engineer. First, we are going to show you the right way to use a grooving cutting tool. First. We'll use an M3 wrench to remove the screw from the fixing plate. Then, as you can see in the video, we'll place the blade correctly, aligning the notch on the blade with the reference point. Then, tighten the fixing screw. Next, we are going to install the tool in the right blade holder, following the SP number. First up, we'll use an M5 wrench to separate the top and bottom parts of the tool. Then, click the square behind the W axis to set its value to zero. Turn the bolt counterclockwise to raise it. Insert the tool rod into the holder with the marked side facing the machine's X plus direction. Turn the bolt clockwise to fix it. When installing the cutting head, make sure the blade is pointing towards the X plus direction of the machine. Then, using the M5 wrench, tighten the screw. Grooving cutting tool installation is now completed. Next, we'll set the down depth of the grooving cutting tool when grooving. Then, click the Adjust button. Press the SP number button, SP3 for V cut. Adjust the tool's descent amplitude. Press the descent button and watch the position of the tool. As the tool nearly touches the surface, reduce the descent amplitude and continue pressing the down button until the tip just touches the platform surface. Click the check mark to save the setting. If we were working on a nine millimeter thick board. And、uh, want a five millimeter grooving depth. We need to reduce the tool's descent data by four millimeter. Set the adjustment range to one. Then click the minus button four times to get our desired grooving depth. Now let's test the tool with the actual material. Move the tool above the material. Then click the configure button, select V cut, then other, and set the speed parameters for V cut one. From left to right, these are linear speed, acceleration, curve speed, and small circle speed. After setting the speed, click adjust, then the clockwise button. And the grooving tool starts working. After processing, let's check the result. 
if they don't intersect, measure the distance between them and divide it by two. For example, if the distance is one point six millimeter, divide it by two, which is zero point eight millimeter. Then click configure, select VCAT, and subtract zero point eight from the data there. That's the composition data we need to enter. So it should be minus zero point eight. After adjusting the composition data, test a few more times to achieve the best grooving effect. Okay, we have finished the, the V grooving tool installation. Let's show you how to use the milling tool. Step one: installation the tool. We are going to use a 13 millimeter range to fix the milling cutter tool. Then, with a 17 range, we'll turn the screw clockwise to remove it. Next, let's load in the collect and the tool itself. And then, we'll fix them onto the milling cutter tool. That's it. Your tool is all set up. Now, if the tool is too close to the surface and you can't place your material, no worries. Just grab an M7 wrench, losing the four screws, fixing the milling cutter, and uh, lift it up a bit. Once we've got the milling cutter in the right position, let's set its cutting depth. Start with a sheet of A4 paper, placing it right under the tool. Next, we'll click the SP number button, choosing the one for the milling cutter tool. We are going to adjust the tool's descent amplitude. Hit the descent button and keep an eye on where the tool is heading. When the tool is about to touch the surface, reduce the descent amplitude and keep pressing the down button. Give the paper a tug. If it's cut a line on the surface, hit the check sign to save your settings. And there you go, that's how you install a milling cutter. In this video, we have learned how to properly install the different tools, set up the cutting depth and the speed. So in the next video, we will show you how to optimize the graphics. Okay, if you have further more questions about the machine, just leave a message below this video. Please remember to subscribe our YouTube channel to learn the latest knowledge of the CNC knife cutting machine. Thank you. Bye.